All right, folks, let's put our focus onto Content Pack, shall we? So if we were to click here, go to Content Pack, you notice there are two types of Content Pack, right? There's the Marketplace Content Pack, which is what is already installed within Operations for Log. What I mean by that is, is all the popular products, all the popular companies, you'll notice that there are content pack already built in for this, right? There is a community-based content pack, but for this conversation, let's not talk about that because that we will go in a deeper um, um, conversation down the road, right? So, so let's go back to Marketplace. Here, you'll notice it's either blank or it's installed, right? Um, if you want to install one of these particular one, let's say, for example, if you want to install Dell iDRAC, right? You can actually highlight this and select install. And sure enough, the install emblem will come on. Likewise, you will also see maintenance and you'll see update. For update, it just says that, by the way, you've installed it, but there's an updated version. You recommend you update, right? So, so case in point, if we were to go to here, you notice that VMware vCN has an update version. Instead of install, there's just an update, okay? When you install, it will show up within the install content pack. Let's take a quick look at Apache, for example, right? You get to see some of the details if you were to send this to a dashboard. Likewise, if you're going to do a query, if you're going to do alerts, here are some of the options that you'll see as well. Now, what's really valuable, if you want to take a look, is the agent group, right? So if you're running Apache, let's say a very basic Apache Linux, here's the configuration for that, right? So what you do is you highlight this, and then you copy and paste this into your agent that has the etcli agent file if you recall from the previous um, demo, right? So you add that in there and sure enough, um, you'll start collecting new data out of that. If you're running in Windows, here's the Windows section. If you're running um, NGINX, here's the NGINX version as well. So what I'm getting at is, you know, Installing the content pack will give you more options. These options will then get inserted to the agent, which goes back to the um, log search. And then you get a lot more granular detail beyond the, you know, the server. You're now going to get all these other products that comes with it as well. So hopefully they'll give you a pretty good understanding of how the content pack works. At a later date, we'll go much deeper on um, reconfiguring and stuff like that. But, but for now, I believe you have enough info to jump onto your operations for log, install content pack, and then tie it to your devices of choice.